Was it a shot that you went as fast as you did through the system? And, you know, pitching in those big pennant race innings, how did you have to adjust mentally to that situation? Yeah, uh, being in the minor leagues, I mean, for me, I, I thought it took way too long. I thought they should have called, I mean, <laughs> like, you should have been on the year before. Perfect. The week after my first start, I'm like, what are you guys waiting on? Oh, my I, God. Let's go. <laughs> no, but the, uh, it, it's actually really cool to watch these guys because they're all friends. They all want to one-up each other. Yeah. So they're they're all working hard, trying to get it done, and say, hey, I got, I got bragging rights, you know? But that's really cool. If they can stay together, learn how to pitch at the big league level, yeah. and hang around for a long time that'll be awesome and Jared you talked about you know making that adjustment from starting the year at double-a maybe pitch a little in triple-a now you're at the major league level for you what is the biggest thing that you and they have to deal with obviously the hitters are better but what else to, to come up from that level to this level I think probably the the hardest thing is is once you face a hitter you know one maybe two times the adjustments the big league hitters make is phenomenal right because you know they have film they have scouting reports in the minor leagues it's not like that you can face a guy you know 10 times 15 times before he kind of figures out what you want to do now you face a guy once and especially if you show him all your pitches it's an uphill battle so they definitely got to mentally lock in and know what's going on yeah you look at 97 too and it's kind of a parallel uh to this year for this squad where started slow had to deal with injuries and didn't really put everything together until about the last two months of the season much in the same way 97 was was there an ingredient or a moment of that year that kind of united you or turned the season for you uh, i'm not sure of a moment but what you're thinking as a player it doesn't matter how you get in just get in just get in yeah anything can happen if, if you know they put up the red white and blue banners on the field and you're one of those teams out there it doesn't matter if you're in first wild card whatever how many wins you got once you get a chance to get in you only have to win a certain number of games before you can be a world champ and all you need is that ticket, right, to get out there. Yep. So if you can get in, that's the special part. <laughs> you know, Jared, too, we talked about this before. If things would have gone a little bit differently those last couple of innings in Game 7, you're a hero here in this town <laughs> as a rookie starting Game 7. Now I'm just a heel. <laughs> and now, and now you're, oh, by the way, right start of the game, it was pretty good. But, yeah, yeah you know, the, the bullpen wasn't so good at the end. Um, for you to pitch in that World Series as a rookie in a Game 7, it is so rare. I remember that being the big talked-about topic going into it. What was going through your mind because one of these guys might have that opportunity this year whether it's just in a postseason game that's going to decide it or a World Series game as a rookie and what were you thinking what were you feeling and how do you prepare for that yeah um, as a rookie I didn't have too much brains in between my ears so I wasn't thinking too much I thought this was kind of how it was supposed to go yeah. it was kind of what I prepared for you know what I worked for so it wasn't something that I got nervous about at the time. Now I'll tell people later on in your career when you know what can happen out there and you know you don't have your best stuff, that's when it became a little bit harder. But as a rookie, enjoy it, man. You're invincible. Grab right it and now. go. Go for it. Go <laughs> Grab for the it. ball and just beat him.